Hello everyone and welcome in 2023. We're back, it's the new season of Strum and yeah, I'm just super excited to kickstart the show. I'm right now, I think you may have recognized it, it's my basement with all the bikes. I just come home from work and I thought what should be, what should we be listening to right now? And then I thought why, why not start with the first track I listened to this year and it's a track for from data rune my good friend from usa and yeah the track is called interlude and i started the new year listening to him and i just love that the track is pretty spot on well done i love the process the way kai is writing the music from the hardware recording like the main outputs and just going with the flow and improvising his way through the music and through like the whole atmosphere and progression to me it's as always spot on it's pure craft it's art and yeah it's definitely more than music itself i'm sure you're gonna love it as much as i did so just relax enjoy and we can talk about it in the comments take care and we talk soon see you guys
Hey guys and a warm belated happy new year from myself as well. I hope you're all doing good. I hope you all had a great start into the new year and you had great celebrations wherever you have been. I have been to the mountains of Switzerland with a little hike um, and we stayed there overnight. We had a snow hike which was amazing so I really don't like hiking but um, it was fantastic view on the top of the mountains. I really enjoyed it and I kicked off 2023 with a lot of gigs coming up. And uh, today is one of these, so I'm getting prepared a little bit. And one of my goals for my musical project is to play more live for you guys. And um, hopefully I can manage to have an album coming this year. So um, yeah, I just got a new synth, the Lara 8. Um, which I'm going to integrate in my setup, so a lot of stuff's going on. I hope you will have some cool goals as well, and I can't wait to see and to hear all the music that's coming on Petit Victory Collective. And we just kicked off 2023 with a, with a very cool compilation, which is titled Various Artists Volume 1. And the track that I've selected is one of these tracks. It's from my friend Yukio Burkhold. He's living in Denmark, is a techno producer, and um, we played together with him during Sonic Playgrounds in November in Copenhagen, and I got to learn to and got to know him. And um, this track is titled Positive Shit. I think that's a cool thing to kick off this to kick off this year. It's a rainy day here in Dusseldorf where I arrived yesterday. And um, yeah, let's have a listen. Yukio Burkhold, Positive Shit, the radio edit.
Hey guys, and welcome back. So yeah, that track from Yukio was actually super nice, right? Mm, I should maybe not tell you now already, but Yukio will come out with an album in a little bit. So get ready for that, because the concept behind it is really nice, and I can't wait for you to listen to what's coming your way. So that's going to be exciting. So I think we should jump to what we're going to listen to next and that next track is from a german friend called helix rider i met the man through the hardware jam back then and or i think so let me think suddenly i'm not sure i'm not sure if it's uh, through the hardware jam or through matthias or i just know that some years went and we're still in contact we were still jamming together supporting each other and writing to each other here and then and the music is super nice and so orman recently released a track um, almost nine minutes of music and it's really good what i like is like when i read his biography on ben Kep, ben came back then it was like really straightforward like i think i wrote something like weird music techno-ish and to me it's definitely techno it's like it's pretty clean, pretty... It's a nice mix, actually, of clean and dirty. And always nice grooves and nice work on the LFOs and on the spectrum in general. Like, the music is really, like, moving and moving you through it as well. So I think we should listen to that track now. Let me check the title again, because I kind of lost it. The track is called Daniel's Song. And, yeah, here we go. Helix Rider right now for you guys. Take care.
Helix Rider Daniel Song, great selection. And um, yes, welcome back to the show. Guys, I arrived in one of my favorite cities of Germany yesterday, and that is Düsseldorf. I studied in Düsseldorf. I lived here for, I think, eight, nine years, and I moved to Bavaria after that. And coming back, um, it's always a great feeling. So we go to some restaurants where I have been when I was studying here. I met some of my old friends. I have some family here. And um, yeah, it's always cool. It's great. And it's also great to bring my music to the city, finally. And um, yeah, and I wanted to show you actually a little bit of the city, some of my favorite spots. But it's rainy, so um, I have to stay inside and make the videos. And um, instead of showing you the rain, let's listen to some more music. And um, I have chosen one track from an artist who recently changed his artist name. He started on the 1st of January, I think. His former artist name was Chroma Search, and he changed his project name to Hexwave. And I think you guys have to know this. Um, I think most of the artists on the label know it, but in case you don't know it, Chroma Search is now Hexwave. And the track that I've chosen is Cursed City, also taken from the new Pity Victory Collective uh, compilation <laughs> titled Various Artists Volume 1. You can download that now on Bandcamp. And um, yeah, have a listen. It's a very nice and very interesting composition that this man did. Hexwave. Enjoy.
Hey, what's up guys? So we're back and that next track is from a good friend of mine from France. We actually never met in the real world, but we kind of just connected together through the internet. I think we've been talking and chatting for over a year or something and it's always really genuine and casual and actually quite fun and easygoing, which I really like. And so Horman is called Zerio. You may have heard about him. He's writing this kind of always versatile techno, sometimes experimental, but still minimalist. And I think it's really good at just mixing genres. And what I really like with him actually, it's that from one track to another, it's always a new adventure. You, I mean, I would just talk for me, but I never know what to expect. So I think it's exciting and that's what I like with music and with the artist in general when I get surprised for every time I hear a new track from them. So this is really nice. So the track we're going to listen to now is called Un Voyage, which means the travel. And yeah, I'm just going to read some words from him because I think he said it all when he presented the track. So here we go. Hold on. So Zerio is saying, a journey can be experienced in many ways, whether it's physical, mental, dreamlike, or of course, emotional. A journey is really based on only one of these characteristics. With this track, a sketch, an ID, a feeling of escaping music, with a darker part in its center, Un Voyage, is an hybrid track drawing its inspiration from melodic techno tinged with a more brutal energy. That's exciting. It's an invitation to feel your own inner adventure. I think he said it all, and to me, just by reading the words, I was excited back then. And when I just pressed played and went with the track, it was actually a real journey on voyage. So please sit tight, enjoy, and we'll see you in a bit. Take care, guys. Peace.
Sirio, un voyage. And let's stay in France um, because the next track that I've selected for you guys is actually from a producer from France. And um, I want to um, read something that I found on the Bandcamp release of this uh, production. Um, the darkness of this album is due to the large uh, doses of Alprosalam, <laughs> I never heard of that, 50 milligram that I ingested during these few weeks of composition. I found myself facing my madness, my inner demon, which was fret through the creative process. My anxiousness, my depression, everything turned into music. And I thought this story continues. You can read it on the band camp of um, AWITW. And you can read it on this page. It's uh, The track is titled Insanity. It's taken from his album. Uh, oh, sorry. The album is titled Insanity. And I'm going to play the track Side Effects um, from you, which has obviously a relation to this a circumstance that I just um, that I just read um, for you, and um, yeah, I think this track is pretty super dark. Um, I like the atmosphere. I like the sound design on this track. So let's have a listen. It's the side effects from A W I T W. Enjoy. <laughs>
And we're back again, fellas. So I'm right now in my bedroom. It's a bit of a mess, so I'm not going to show you the other side of the camera. Here already you can see kind of a bit of my setup eventually. It's messy. Look, sorry about that. It's January. And yeah, I'm just <laughs> trying to get my way through January and just jam every day. So it's basically cables everywhere and me thinking about what I'm going to play next. Anyway, I think we should talk about what's going to be next for you guys. So I choose a track from one friend called iBot. I think you heard about him before. I played one of his tracks that I really liked. And recently, sorry, I can't speak anymore. I'm tired. But he recently released an EP with two tracks. One is called Smoke and the other one is called Rain. And I choose to play Rain for you guys. It's a track that I discovered recently that I really like. I like the form, the progression, the feeling, the fact that it's live. It's directly coming out of the engines. And you can actually feel and hear the rain in the way the progression is going. And with all the effects. And yeah, it's just super smooth and it's working on me. So right before listening, I was thinking maybe read some words from Orman to you guys. So here we go. Ibot is saying, I composed these tracks during the autumnal rainstorm that threw away the lingering smoke we experienced from wildlife season in the Pacific Northwest this year. Both were performed and recorded live using a small modular system and an electron digitone. I focused on texture, mood, color of the sounds and as well at their rhythmic interplay. I hope you guys will enjoy. Honestly, I don't hope. I know you will and I'm gonna stop talking now and we should just press play and listen to that track. You take care and we'll see you next time. Cheers guys.
I bought Rain, great track. And I'm afraid that we reached already again the end of this show, which is obviously too fast. But still, I had a lot of fun again to prepare. Um, I hope you guys too let us know what you think. Send us your comments, send us uh, critics or send us uh, your praises. <laughs> you can leave comments or visit us on the Instagram page at Petit Victory Collective. We will be happy to receive your feedbacks on the show. I have one more track for you. But before that, I want to tell you the next episode airs on February 19th. Save the date. February 19th will be the next show with Atlas Castle and me, 59 Perlen. Thanks for joining. The last track that I'm going to play is a super cool chilly track, a dark ambient track from Second Sun. It's titled Black Hole Mind. And I think this is a pretty cool um, relieving track for ending tonight's show. Thanks for joining and we see us very soon, guys. See you. Bye bye.